My name is Henrique, and I live in the city of Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. I used to live in a rural area of the city on a farm. In this region, there were stories circulating about a creature called Caboclo de Gua. The tale said that near the farm, it would appear to fishermen, attempting to chase them. I never believed it. I thought it was just one of the many stories told in the city. But one day, that completely changed in my life. It must have been around 11 p.m., as usual. I would return from work, have dinner, and then go to bed to rest for the next day. However, on this particular Thursday night, that didn't happen. As I was getting ready to sleep, something strange occurred. A peculiar noise was coming from outside the house, near the gate. It was a frightening sound, a clunky walk, resembling that of a horse. The strangest part was that there were no horses, and my neighbors didn't own any either. At that moment, I decided to look through the small gap in the window of my room to see what it was. When I looked, I never forgot what I saw. Before my eyes there was a thin creature with wet fur and a turned back tail. I was paralyzed by the scene. My feet trembled, and tears streamed down my eyes. The creature approached the door, trying to listen if there was anyone in the house. Unable to believe what was happening, I went to the living room and hid inside a piece of furniture in the house. I could hear the creature crying because it couldn't see if anyone was inside. With so much terror, I remembered the story of the Caboclo de Gua. It was unbelievable what was happening. The creature tried to force the door to enter. I thought I was imagining the scene before me. After numerous failed attempts, I realized that the creature had gone. It must have been one of The next day, frightened, I went to my relative's house to plan my move from that farm. To this day, I have never heard any more reports of the creature, and I have never returned to that farm.